Hello everybody, this is my first video, and welcome to my channel. I was recently inspired by a steampunk doll collaboration between many different doll artists, and I wanted to make my own. I also will be using a different doll that works well as a child doll, because that's what I'm going to make him when I'm making a boy. Well, let's get started. First, I use this Rapunzel doll. Yes, this is the doll I'm going to use. We're going to mod her. I'll show you that later. But they're perfect size for Monster High dolls. Like, I mean, as children compared to the Monster High dolls. I really like them. I love her skirt. It's so shiny. <laughs> Here she is, out of the box. I'm gonna salvage her hair because Rapunzel's hairs are very very nice and they're long as you can see she's articulated in the joints and in the arms it's like ball jointed in the arms all right we will start by cutting off the hair as close to the scalp as we possibly can it's a little hard to get the scissors in <laughs> there we go this doll's paint is factory paint kind of ugly. <laughs> so we are going to remove it and put a new face on her. For some reason it's extra tough. You just gotta keep going at it. There she is, all clean. Now we are going to take the hair out. Stick the pliers in or tweezers in my case and wiggle them around until you get all the plugs out. They're all cleaned up. Now, we start by making a wig. I did not show making the hair part, but I guess I did show the cap part for some reason. Anyway, you glue all the cap after you rubber band it on, make sure there's no wrinkles and you let that dry and put as many layers as you need. Now it's time for the face. I start by using soft pastels to get in the colors I want to breathe life into the plastic as Delightful says. Unfortunately I got on a little too thick. I'm used to doing thick blush on girls and this is a boy. It's hard to work with boy dolls because you don't do it very often because there aren't very many. This is why I was so excited to get this doll because I thought it would work well for a young boy doll which is extremely rare. As you can see, I'm putting the eyes. First, I do a light brown and trace out what I want the eyes to look like. It was really hard to do child face because I am terrible at drawing children just in general. They're really hard. We're going to do the mods next. But at the moment, I'm just trying to get that eye right. There we go, that's a little better. Now, I start to go in with the base color, a dark color of the base color. Then I go in with a lighter color and color in all the eyes until I got it thick enough. Then, I trace on some eyebrows, some light eyebrows. It's hard to get the shapes just right. There we go. Just looking for the right color. Oh, there it is. The hardest part is the mouth because the molding is smiling and I want him to be more on a cute puppy dog face. Kind of pouty, you know? Did a tiny bit of pastels for his lips. We go in the top with a darker color, put in some whites, darken up with a darker brown. 
the better the face will be is the more time you take on it usually. I did this pretty quickly, so... Put another darker color on the eyebrows. Now it's time to black the scariest part. Now darken up the top of the eyes for some shading. Alright, there he is. Unfortunately, I went a little too crazy with the black and the eye shape went out of the way. So I will correct it and then use an eraser. Mm, looks a little better. Be careful with the shading. As you can see, one eye is darker than the other. It's got more, more black in it, the one that's I'm working on right now. Sorry for leaving the camera. I had to fix it. That was, eye is just really hard to do on, on the camera. <laughs> Alright. It's a little better now. All right. It'll look better after I put the paint on it. Alright, now we do the eyebrows. I'm really sorry this is my first video, so it's kind of terrible. I'll get better. Alright, just do lines. I find do them as lightly as possible and then darken them up. I do the wrinkling of the eyebrows to make it more realistic. And then darken the eyelids. There we go. Yeah, but what do you guys think? I think I was a little messy on this one. Go in with a little more black. Yes, this face up is taking forever. I didn't mean to record this long, but I did. Alright, now it's time to do up the eyes. I put a layer of a light green in it. Oh, also, I put in a gear. For some reason, it got in the clip before I put the shines in the eyes. I put the gear to make it more steampunkish because I felt it was missing something. Be very slow and very careful. The acrylic paints can sometimes mess up. You want to definitely seal before you do that because they sometimes can mess up your your job. I wanted to be more cute, so I put more shines in the eyes, but eh, it didn't look as cute as I wanted. Next, put the whites in to be very slow as well. Some people water them down. I'm just too lazy. I would highly suggest it, though. If you do make a mistake with the white, as you saw I did with the green pencil, just take your base color and wipe it off with a pencil. Or smooth it out, whatever works for you. Be careful! Alright, now with some pink. I'm making a tongue. No, I'm not painting his lips pink. That's what it looks like. Alright, now it's time for body mods. Now, I'm going to shave the front off and make it more flat with this file. She's a big iron file. And we're going to go back and forth like that until we shave her down to the size I want. If 
kind of catches a little bit. Alright, there it is shaving down. You can also use a smoother part after you're done so it's more smooth. Alright, now we have to cut those annoying bands and shave down the arms so it's not so big and round. Because that just was kind of awkward. I do it with a razor because you can get to it. I just found this razor at Walmart. Just turn the arm to get to the place you haven't cut yet. There's the before and after on the arms. Alright, now I'm going to glue gun the base of it in. So I'm going to use epoxy sculpt later. You can just use a hole and just use the glue gun all the way if you don't have epoxy sculpt because I know it's really expensive. But you fill it in to the point you want it. Alright, here's the two part epoxy sculpt. I will take half and half. It's kind of a pain. This is especially sticky. You're supposed to wear gloves when mixing it. Actually, you're supposed to wear gloves during the whole thing, but... I take them off at some point because it's just too irritating. It only dries your hands out mostly. Alright, squish it around till I've got the base of it. Use water to smooth it out, as I'm doing right now. Fill in that back. That has a major curvy back. I'm gonna make it a little pop belly so it looks more like a little kid. After you let it dry overnight, shave it down with sandpaper. I start with a rougher grit and then I go to a more fine. Right now I'm buying it out with 400. There it is after it's painted with acrylic paint and sanded. And here I am painting it. Do it very thinly the first layers. And do thin layers on the legs so they kind of match more because it's really hard to match paint to skin. You can do, I did about three layers, and I put a matte sealant. You can really use any sealant you want to. You can use Mr. Super Clear, all sorts of things. Now it's time to make the goggles. I start by painting an elastic band, black. It soaks up the paint really well, so you're going to have to use a lot of it. And you probably should measure it first and paint it to save yourself some paint. I did not. Next, I take a can. Yes, only can I had. And cut it open. Boom, it just exploded. Alright, cut strips about the size of the goggles you need. Straighten them out. Cut, you know, cut them so they're straight, as I'm doing right now. Careful, these are very sharp. Next, cut out a circle the size you want the goggles to be. Also, fold over the metal so it doesn't cut you. Alright. I'm bending it so it's more flexible, so it gets more round. That just tiny little bits at a time. Now fit it around. Also, I'm going to cut out the same size, this CD film that's underneath the CD that I recycled. I'm going to use that for the glass in the goggles. See, it's really cool looking. It's kind of like rainbow fluorescent ish. Alright. You could tape it to it, but I'm just sticking on there and cutting around. Unfortunately, the rest of the film did not get in there. But anyway, you take the aluminum in, you pull it around, you glue the lenses in, and then you glue it to a piece of leather and to a piece of elastic. As I'm doing here, I'm going to use the glue gun. I always use the glue gun for everything. I'm also using a model head 
Yes, this poor doll, I did something terrible to it. Me and my experiment. Yeah, I'm a major experimenter with dolls. So, to see the doll finished, you're gonna have to watch part two. And I guess that's it. I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye!